Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. When we last left off, we were at the uh, Dotharl village, where apparently they believe heavily in reincarnation, because Setsu insulted them, and now I am helping them out as I learn more about them. But Gosetsu wants to learn more about their plans for the uh, for the upcoming uh, tournament. So we'll let that sit for a bit and continue our side quests. All right. Thank you for coming. I wish to go meet with uh, with Hana, uh, with Hama, but the road to her is fraught with peril. As such, I need someone to protect me. It was only a few weeks ago that both my my mother and father were taken from me by the heartless uh, Oronir. Their deaths made me realize I must commune with the Dust Mother. I shall pray to that she strike down those who, who pretend to be the children of Azim, and that she continue to uh, nurture the Dothal. Hamar resides, uh, resides in the house of the Crooked Coin to the north. I have heard many tales recently of pilgrims being slain by monsters that lie in wait along the trail. The same has not happened to me. Please, be on your guard. Rendezvous with me farther to the north. Alright. Will do, but I also will think I will help out here. They gotta be a hero. So long as I keep attacking, we will be fine. Let's get out of here, fly. Alright. Back to the job at hand. You are done. Eh, silver. At least it's something. Alright, off we go. See, it's helpful that now that I'm actually tracking all of the side quests properly. This is way, way, way up there. Okay, we're going to come back for you. Jeez, you're far away. Let's go for the, the, the bears. Oh, you're a uh, kind of a scattered sc scattered uh, mob I need to attack. All right. Yeah, so I need to kill four of these. All right. But man, that, that that one quest is so far away. A oh, featherfoot, why now? There we go. Right. Well, it looks like there are plenty of these. Alright. Two more to go. I'm not going to tornado kick him because I can hit that other guy pretty fair, pretty fastly if he doesn't even decide to join us right now.
Uh, I was going to fire tackle, but I forgot that I hadn't, uh, it wasn't enough cooldown yet. Now you, I can give a tornado kick to. Alright, so let's head on north. We have Welcome to Family left. Slip on by here. Hit the river and head uh, west. there. Almost there. Almost there. Hi. Thank you for coming. I wish to deliver all of this to the to an uh, Oya Gear. You are doubtless wondering why I would aid someone from another tribe. When I was born, the Death Hawk uh, Hatun looked into my eyes and did not see a soul he, she recognized. When this happened, it was thought that the soul of a noble warrior from another tribe had been had been invited to join the, the Dothal. But this knowledge gave me no peace. I needed to know my previous life. I set about researching the history of other tribes. Eventually I came across a tale of a Oyagiri warrior, once that sacrificed himself to, in battle to save an injured Dothal. It stands to reason such a benevolent spirit would become a Dothal in, in their next life. I am positive this warrior soul re resides within me. Today is his, my mother's birthday. Her name is uh, Sechen. I decided to give her food as a present. However, in my excitement, I have, I have bought, I have bought far more than I could hope to carry alone. I need your help to transport the rest. My mother dwells in, in the 101 re Revelations. All right. Got those, so all right. So it's in these caves at the other side of this thing. Okay. But I think I have an idea of how to get north in a fairly quick manner. But we'll do that after we do these ones that are close by already. All right. Oh, Mossy's here. All right, time to help you out. I took some of the fatty meat we usually feed to cattle and spread it around this area. The Stepanolas will be here shortly. They cannot resist anything that burns as easily as fat. Here they are. Ravenous, watch out, they're here. Bought some of these already in that child's test, so. So we'll just make short work of this guy. Thank you. Your style differs from what I'm used to, but it no, but is by no means unnatural. Thank you, Ravnus. You have given me much to think about. I shall try to make use of what you've shown me in our practice tourney. It will be starting shortly. It, is, it has been quite a while since I took part. Okay. So he, there, there, there's that. So need to sneak in behind this guy here. Why is there a... Uh... Okay, I don't see any of the players. And these wings are in my way. So is this map. Go away, map. 
I would have done that fate if there there were other players I would help out, but I have a uh, I have no interest. So I guess this is what this game is for. Thank you for your aid. I have told mother that you would be coming. Please give her, please give the gifts to her. Ah, you must be the one he said was would be coming shortly. There you go. Oh my, this is much more than I, d I ever dared expect. Look at all this fruit. Thank you so much. It is your birthday, after all. You should allow yourself to be pampered on this one day at the very least. Honestly, you do too much for me. But know that I am grateful. Your kindness reminds me of my son so very much. I take it he has told you everything? As a Uyagir, I am not too familiar with the concept of reincarnation. As such, I cannot judge whether or not he is truly my son. But one thing I do know for certain, that is that he is that he has been a great help to me. You are too kind. It is son's duty to look after his mother. I have done not I have done not special. Now that I think of it, I have not th properly thanked you yet. I could not have delivered Mother's gifts without you. Here's a token of my gratitude. Awesome. What? What? what more? What more side quests here? Uh, okay. Turn you off for now. Hi. Ah, oh, adventure. Could I ask you to collect something on my behalf? I recently asked a Dothal to supply us with meat. However, we have all been so busy of late, no one has had time to go collect it. His name is uh, Kishigi, Kishigili. I have already given him minerals in exchange for food. You only need to collect the meat. All right. Hi. Are you perchance familiar with the melody of uh, Klo An? Uh, Klo An? An? Our ancestors who lived before the gods punished us adored music. In order to pass on their favorite melody to the future to future generations, they bore holes in, in the rocks and covered and covered the pla plains of Klo An. Though, as you may have realized, time has not been kind. The rocks have been so heavily weathered that they that one can no longer hear anything other than wind in the area. However, that is not to say not to say it is completely lost. The tune is still passed down from parent to child. It is about time that I, I too, did the same, but I recently broke my flute. At first I thought of crafting a new one, but that, but it would be far, far too greedy of me. If only I had two Baras tusks. Oh, at this rate I will not be able to pass on the melody to my boy. Okay, I'll do that too. And yours? Welcome, adventurer. Uh, Ibaka told me you'd be coming. She sees events long before they come to pass. However, she did not only see you. No, she saw. She also saw a great threat. The true the the true nature of this th threat is yet unclear. But we know it lurks in the Argyagir caves. So please investigate it on our behalf. Okay. So that was dreams of birds. Oh, they're way up there. How deep is this cave? Unless that's the uh, no, that's over there. Okay, well. Does this go all the way out down there? I don't think it does. I am confused. Because it sounds like their caves, but there's not their caves, so I need to go to other caves. Well, look at the map. Let's hit the one. Let's hit the diamites. Then what I'll do is. I'll make it to the when way up north. I'll probably uh, teleport and then fly and then go to it. 
and then I can hit other hit, hit the other stuff on the way back. I like that idea. All right. Where are the dire blades? Let's see. So you need dire blades in the rocky area to the west. Am I expecting something to pop up? Well, there's some rocky areas. No, I'm too far south now. Ah, here's one. Interesting that they give no clues for their spawning. It's actually kind of neat. I actually have to do a bit of searching. You know, put effort into it. Alright, and turn it okay. Well, that does that. Alright, so that one we can check off the list for now. Alright, let's head back to Donald Throne, fly over to uh, the mole area, and then, and then we'll head over west. Then from there, I'll run southwest hitting the points for the other quests on the way back. Okay. Journey. Woo! But now we're back at Dot Tower. Good. But the mole area... The mole people do not have an Aether right? so... So essentially it became, do I go here or do I go to Reunion? Here I have a return point, and plus it, I imagine it's a little bit cheaper to fly here uh, to fly from here to Mole rather than from Reunion to Mole. So, if I could fly, it wouldn't be a problem. The quest is right down there. You know what? Alright, drop me off. There we go. Look at that. Cover the ground as quickly as I could. Really, if any farther or any sooner, really would have made it a slightly longer trip. So. Let us make our way up there. Almost there, almost there. There you are. The Dusk Mother awaits. Let us make haste. It seems that the tales I heard were true. Dispatch them quick and swiftly. Hi. Big. Uh, tornado kick. Oh, I don't. I didn't even build up tornado kick. Meh. I was sloppy on that one. Thank you. Let us resume the climb. Looks like you didn't make it too far. Let's power up.
More beasts. There's no other way to reach uh, Hama. Hum we must not falter. You mean I must not falter? Duking and jiving. Oh, I have a bird that decided to start playing too. Oh, I need help. Get riddle. Alright, that's done, but I need to take you out now too. Get out of here. Ooh, that was a big, that was a risky. We are so close now, so very close. But yeah, I used earth, ta earth Tackle just to knock the body away. I had already killed it with a tornado kick. Okay, so this weird thing I found a while ago seems to be our destination. That's weird. Thank you for seeing me here safely. There's one thing, last thing I would request of you. Deliver this to a girl in uh, Dotharoka named uh, Maral. Now please, leave me be alone with the Dusk Mother. I'm curious. She probably won't be in there. So what does this have to do? Yeah, House of the Crooked Coin. I thought that name sounded familiar. What does this have to do with the the Dusk Mother? So weird. Anyway. We need to head southwest. Let's put that away. Let's get out of here. If I zoom out, it feels a bit better. You gotta keep moving. Ignore the bird. So we head to the cave by the river. From there we'll be close at least. Uh, fall down. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely uh, the fastest way I can get there. We don't have any other means of quick travel to this side of the zone. Shoot, even if I were to have done this first and come up here, there's still no fast way to get back to uh, Dothal. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing things right or not, but I guess you guys are used to it by now. Oh, uh, killing those is a thing. Right. Hi. Punching you down. And luckily, I only have to kill two of them. And there are two right here. See, I did not go for a... Uh, 
a tornado kick on there. I am watching. Watching that. I'm watching that more than I'm even watching my, uh, my prey right now. Because that is something I am a prey to. Oh, I need to charge up. That thing will likely eat me. So let's not mess with that for another three levels. That sounds like a good idea. All right, we're gonna come through the cave because this cave is the only one left. Right. Or this quest is the only part left. Then we'll turn everything in and then see where we're standing. I imagine we still have the side story and that's probably about it. Uh, hi. Bird of Prophecy. Oh. That prophecy is done. Done, been fulfilled. Not fighting you. Bye bye. All right, time to turn things in. Though, to be fair, one of the turn-ins uh, isn't a turn-in. That's to speak with the person and bring it back. So maybe I should go to Delthal first, turn everything in, talk to that person, then head back to the caves, turn everything in over there. And then I should just be left with the side story. Should be. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Oh, man, it looks like just goes out to open desert out there. But if I remember the world map, hold on a second. Uh, I guess that kind of leads out to this area here. That makes sense. Alright. So maybe that's what's out there. Uh, we might find out one day. Alright, I need to talk to you to pick up the meat. The, uh, the Uyagi gear have, adv have adventurers taking care of the errands now? Never mind. Here's the meat they ordered. Just between you and me, I truly do not understand that tribe. They are supposed to be celebrating, and yet they only asked for scraps of meat no one wanted to eat uh, at our recent feast. I hear they only eat mushrooms most days. Honestly, someone should tell them that it's fine to treat yourselves once in a while. Not that it is really of any of my business, I suppose. And that turns green. Yay! So let's check that one off. Turn this one back on, but we won't hit it just yet because we have other stuff we need to take care of. So how'd your thing go, dude? Uh, well, as you no doubt saw, that did not go to plan. Surely no one will believe I'm le a legendary swordsman now. I do not understand. How could Mousy of the Seven and Seven Swords be bested so easily? Wait, no, now I see now. He merely pretended to lose to lure his opponents into a false sense of security. Do not hold back, you insult me.
Why do you any why do any of you know about Mousy? He is weak. Uh, simply forcing him to fight will change nothing. Are you an acquaintance of Mousy? I am Kulan. I have been friends with Mousy ever since we were little. I know him better than most. You have doubtless heard of all about how weak he is. However, I want to change his life for the better. Would you be willing to help me? Side story, so sure. But, you know, we'll come right back to this. I want to turn in everything else first. So that way we know where we stand. The trial... The trial tests participants' bravery, bravery and their ability to cope with unforeseen obstacles. As expected, it did not trouble you in the slightest. Dathar, who competed in the trial, received no rewards, but as you are an outsider, I will make an exception. I shall not forget you, Ravenous. You will always be welcome in Dalth Ka. Alright. And we head up here. The deed is done? Good. Now our sheep may rest easy. As you have noticed, the Gula Gula is a wily creature. It lures its attackers into a sense of false security before springing a trap on them. That is how it was with that is how my brother met his end. While they are intelligent, they are still beasts. But one must be careful when attempting to slay them. Many a uh, uh has mistaken recklessness for bravery, losing their lives in the process. I imagine our warriors would benefit from studying someone like you. I shall make sure to teach my brother not to be so foolhard foolhardy in his next life. Thank you for your aid. I shall make sure we do not require outside help the next time a Gula Gula appears. Alright, I'm supposed to give this to you. Is there something you wish to say to me? Uh, that. Here's a letter. A letter, but why? So, she has gone to be one with the Dusk Mother. I have no doubt it is what she wanted, but that knowledge does not to alleviate the pain in my heart. The house contains a crystal, a sliver of, of Hama's essence. Those who wish to rejoin with the Dusk Mother throw themselves down the cavern there. If this breaks the cycle of reincarnation, I escorted the girl to her death. The Dust Mother has always been at the center of my friend's life. The same was true of her previous incarnations. To think if she had been killed together with her family, her spirit could have moved into the child of my sister. It, it, sorry. To think if she had been killed together with her family, her spirit could have moved into the child my sister is about to birth. Forget what I just said. I did not mean it. We should take solace in the knowledge that she is finally at peace. The envelope her letter came in also contained what seems to be your compensation for helping her. Please accept it as a token of her gratitude. I don't feel so good about that one. I escorted her to her suicide. Not good. Got a belt out of it. That doesn't feel good either. Alright, well, repair my stuff. Let's move on. Alright, you had the uh, dire mate problem? The beasts, had, the beasts have been slain? You have my thanks. If the dire mites only attacked warriors such as ourselves, this would not have been such a problem. But they prey on anyone. Women, children, it does not matter to them. I will not stand for this. We must not rest until they have been eradicated from the area. Thank you for helping me dispatch the first few of them. We will take care of the rest. By few, you mean one. I killed one of them. Alright. No other side quests. Let's go turn these in. Side quest, side quest, side quests. But hey, experience, money, and gear. 
and apparently assisted suicide. Uh, not good. Man, I don't even want to talk about that one. I mean, it's, like, it's rattling around in my brain, but not good. Okay, uh, prophecy dealt with. Pray tell me, what did you find? A bird of prophecy that has been prophesied. A bird of prophecy? I must thank you for slaying it. The cave contains minerals that we use that we use to create pigment. Without those minerals, we could not paint images on the wall of our cave. Images which showed the danger of giving into one's greed. We do this every full moon so that future generations may inherit our values. My sincerest thanks for all of your help. We owe you a great debt. Oh, so that's why they don't treat themselves is because they, they're like anti-greed. All right, do you have the meat? Sure do. Here you go. My thanks. Judging by your expression, you were doubtless wondering why we would why we would ask for scraps. The occasion matters not. Even if we are celebrating, we cannot allow ourselves to be overcome by greed as our sinful ancestors were. We have no right to go out and hunt beasts for their meat. You too would be wise to make sure you do not follow the same path that our tribe once walked. Called it. All right. Oh, hello again. I'm still at a loss at how 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 to obtain two Mara's tusks. Here you go. Did you bring these for me? Thank you so much. You are truly too kind. Now I can make sure the melody is passed down to my dearest child. Please return in a few summers' time when my son has grown as a as high as a horse's knee. I am certain he will want to repay you for this favor. Perhaps he will, he will even play you a rendition of the melody. Well, at least I got a reward for it now. Why is there another quest here? Alright, but we are out of time. So in the next one, we will do this side quest, finish the side story, and then hopefully back to our main story. So, if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you'd like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Later.